gonna help you. Sometimes I don't want to turn off the car. Oh, right, because I often forget to put it in park. It's gonna be very interesting to see what Lou says. Hey guys, woo, bright light. Okay, so I'm Marlene McCohen and welcome to my channel. I don't know, like I, I know you guys so well that I feel like I don't have to say that, but there's some of you who are new and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm such a clumsy person. Okay, I seem very chipper, I know. I'm deeply saddened because I lost my bird, Picasso. You guys have heard of this a million times, but in the search for Picasso, I found another bird. Well, I didn't find it, somebody else found it and let me know about the bird. Possibly a wild Amazon, which Lou has been helping me nurse back to health. So I'm going to visit it right now. George is gonna meet me there, see if maybe the bird's ready for me to bring him back home and then decide if I'm gonna set him free because he may be wild. Wild. Continue to search for the owner, of course that, obviously. But also, insert obnoxious Mini Cooper, you're not wearing your seatbelt noise here. So I'm off and on my way to Birds Plus to give you guys the update on this Amazon. Okay, here we go. Okay, how many times have you guys walked this with me? I get nervous because I'm like, is the bird okay? Like, is there any updates? Did someone come in and steal him? Because, you know, that's happened over here before. <sighs> I think I'm wearing the same shirt you guys seen. I can't even focus on anything, but what's going on here? Oh, is that him? No. Oh, who's that? Hey! That stain comes from years of eating fire camp today. Oh, that's what they're called? Pyrocantherberries? All right, so who's that bird that you guys had? Oh, there he is. That was a baby. A baby Amazon? Same exact kind of uh, Amazon. But ours that we rescued was actually a, a wild bird. Hi! Oh, mama! Yeah. Ooh. Who's complaining down here? You? But a lot of complaints, so... Yeah. He looks much better. He said he had E. coli. What? He had um, had a problem flying and it hit the window. The reason why he had that problem was because he was already, uh, I guess he got E. coli and he was already off balance because E. coli will do that. And How does Lou know that? Well, he did a, he kind of felt like he wasn't eating. And so what he did is he, did, he had a friend do a test on him. Stop. On his whatever. Droppings? Yeah. And then uh, they did like a whole thing so and they, they found do? out Give they gave medicine? antibiotics for it. Baby! So he's on medication oh, right now. this happened to you? So we better leave him here for a while. And on top of it, he's he's a wild bird. I heard. And he, you can tell that he also is very old based on his feet, based on his beak, based on his eyes. He's past 20. Past 20? Past 20? Look at baby. How long is he on antibiotics? Let's go ask Lou. Lou! Yes, my dear. The bird's on antibiotics? Yeah, Batril. It's got how, uh, E. coli. How did you find that out? Cultured it up. What made it you... it wasn't eating. It wasn't eating. I knew something was up. The shit was wrong. The shit was bad. Really? Do you think he was improving before, right? Like he was improving, no, he but he No, was ate. not enough for me. Yeah. So... How long is he on antibiotics for? He's been on uh, four days now. How long does he need? Seven. Seven days. Injectable. See, what did I tell you guys? Is this guy a genius or what? I mean, just look at the droppings in there Injectable now. Injectable biotics? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saved a hummingbird last week. You did? Oh. Guy brought him to me. He goes, the bird was in the stairwell. He brings this hummingbird in. It's laying on its side. I'm like, his eyes were like, I could see its respiratory just barely moving. So I filled up a syringe full of the nectar, the hummingbird nectar, stuck his beak in it, laid him in a little isolate, little fish aquarium. About five minutes later, I see the throat kind of move a little. I'm like, wow. About 10 minutes later, his eyes were open. 10 minutes later, it's kind of sitting out. Then I started to push the syringe down and let him stick it. I watch his tongue go. I'm like, dude, you're going to make it. And so look. That's cool. That's amazing because George had come across a hummingbird. That happened to me and, I, and we couldn't, couldn't get him to save eat. it. No, 
they're you know really what? hard to get to do. It's a syringe thing because it's almost impossible to get anything through the No, you throat. can't get anything in How there. do you do that? No. You just, they have to lick it. So how did you get them? How did you feed them? In the just beginning? by the grace of God, he started eating. There's some flying. Oh There's God. it at my house. He's in a box though. He's in a clear plastic box. And he flew to the tallest tree. Wow. Shoot right away. I mean, within Dude, that. There's a lot of hummingbirds. An hour and a half of being dead outside. I mean, yeah. So basically an hour, he was, he was all good? I just posted good. a video on like what to do when you find a nestling slash fledgling uh -huh. slash... But the reason is because we found two nestlings when we were... Um, all you gotta do is put... We put them back in the nest. Yeah, sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. It was that or bring them here. A little isolate like this. And I cut a piece of cardboard that stood up in between here and there. And I stuck the syringe through it. Oh all the way, God. all the way filled up so like that. you made like a nectar thing no, right there. I just stuck it the cardboard and I stuck it through the hole and he was down here. First I had to, you know, I thought he was going to die. So I just stuck his beak in it that was holding him up. And then I saw his throat kind of moving. He was drinking. And I'm like, you're drinking. And his eyes opened up. And he still had his beak in there. And I'm like, what? And I hope you're drinking. And then I picked the syringe up out of there and it was empty. The whole thing was empty. Wow. So I'm like, okay, and then 10 minutes later, <laughs> and the thing <laughs> flying around. I'm like, man, you're gonna make it, dude. He was out of gas, he was out of fuel. <laughs> when I stuck this through the cardboard, just I made it a hole at an angle, so this kind of sat like this, filled up with that KT uh, hummingbird nectar, right through so he could just sit like this, and then I'd see him come up, and that little tongue is about that long, and you just, Lapping it and lapping it and lapping it, and he was just drinking it and drinking it and drinking it, and then all of a sudden he started buzzing around. In the thing in here, I'm like, amazing. Because I've never, I never fed a hummingbird, but I've fed every other bird in the world. That's amazing that yeah, your no, instincts I was, are I so good. I amazed myself on that. I've saved the one, boy. And you saved the Amazon this whole like uh, medication. So. Yeah, I'm basically giving them updates on Amazon, coming to visit. Yeah, did you, show them, did, you, did you show them the progress of the bird? Okay, baby. Okay, so that's the thing. He's doing pretty well. What are you doing? He's Bye. a little timid. Bye, Lou. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for all your Bye. genius. I always cry for the birds. I know you love the birds. Bye. Wow. Um, <laughs> Bye, George. Basically, Lou also said he could tell the age of the bird from his scaly feet and also that he's been out in the wild and that he's over 20. I don't know if you guys heard that before. How they test for E. coli, amazing. They do a swab of the droppings, put it in a Petri dish, and then whatever it grows over, first of all, the growth indicates that he has E. coli or something else, but whatever antibiotic it doesn't grow over, basically they have drops of antibiotics in there, is how you know not only what the bird has, but what will cure it. So um, that's why he's on basically seven days of medication right now. Wow, like I learn so much every time I go in here. It's always good to have a good bird mentor and friend and somebody you can learn from. He's probably been doing this for like 40 or 50 years, although he doesn't look old enough, but he's definitely <laughs> amazing. So that is it guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know your favorite part of this video, although I don't think it was was uh, particularly comedic, but I love you guys so much. Bye. This dude just okay. like leaving. By the way, look, look what I found. Where? Whole Foods said they didn't have it, but now they do. No, they had it. You just didn't. You yeah, were the just... guy that was there didn't said it's like this. You don't no. ask a guy. Guys don't know anything here. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> been looking for my crackers for a while. He comes home and tells me they don't have them. He goes, I asked the guy, the guy said they don't have them. I'm like... <laughs>